Hey there, St. Peter's and friends of St. Peter's. This is um, Pastor Paul, and I'm reaching out to you with a midweek message. I, I can hardly believe that it is um, the end of August. You know, we're sort of staring um, September in the face. Today is the first day of school for a lot of schools in this area, um, our little part of the world entrusted to us. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but... Uh, most every day begins um, with a whole litany of questions. You know, in our home, um, what's for breakfast? And what are we going to do today? Um, you know, today, uh, being the first day of school, typically it's what am I going to wear? Um, you know, who's going to take me? Um, am I going to know anyone? Who are my friends going to be? Um, do I have all the supplies I'm going to need for my classes? You know, I think um, any one of us uh, can bear witness to the questions that kind of meet and greet us um, in any day, in any season of life. Um, questions present themselves to me. You know, am I going to go into my office today or am I going to um, work remotely? You know, am I going to um, call upon someone um, and have a phone conversation or am I going to Zoom with them? Or am I going to explore um, ways to have socially distant, appropriate in-person visits? Um, all of those questions are, are sort of realities that, that present themselves to me. You know, um, what am I going to eat for lunch? Am I going to go for a run today? Um, how am I going to um, live in, to lean into the joy that is um, present, even in the midst of pandemic? Um, how am I going to deal with the anxieties, um, the stress, the frustrations, um, the grief, the losses that um, are very real and present, definitely, in the midst of pandemic? You know, there are questions for us as a faith community um, that, you know, arise um, you know, when are we going to get together, uh, get to gather again um, in worship? Um, why, why do we have a, a, a banner hanging in front of our church that says, you know, the words Black Lives Matter? Um, how are we going to navigate? Um, how are we going to weather, um, you know, the... Um, turbulence that can come with um, transitions of many kinds in any given season of life together. You know, where's the joy? Um, where's the, 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 the fun parts of um, doing ministry and life together? Um, how do we get um, back to some of that? How do we regain um, traction in ways that feel um, meaningful and purposeful and life-giving. All very real and appropriate questions for us um, as a community, and certainly in the world around us. Um, you know, so much unrest, so much um, divi division, so much grief and loss, um, and still, um, you know, there is, is and are um, places of, of meaning and purpose and joy. Um, not only happening, but ways in which we are invited to um, be cultivators of meaning and purpose and joy in our everyday ordinary lives. And so um, I think that, you know, with every question that presents itself to us, um, we have to pay attention to our answer. Because our answer tells us something. Our, our words matter. You know, any of the questions that I've, I've um, kind of raised in, in, in this first few minutes together, any of them, how mundane, how, um, um, you know, challenging, how stressful, how joyful, any, any of those questions, whatever they embrace, um, the words that we use in our response, in our answer, um, those words matter and they convey meaning because um, our answers begin to shape us. 
individually and collectively. And so, um, you know, this Sunday and the next Sunday, um, Sundays, August the 30th and and uh, September the 6th at 10.45 a.m., um, we're going to have Zoom um, gatherings. And these gatherings are our session. The session is our leadership here of the church or some of our leadership, um, the elders of the church. We're going to have session-hosted congregational Q&As, you know, questions and answers, a time to um, talk honestly, openly, um, you know, with um, the hope and, and, and the prayer that God would give us um, honest ground, sacred ground, um, ground for seeking to understand each other, um, grounds for peace and joy and unity and um, a sense of moving forward together. So I want to invite you um, to join us for one of these Q&As, and they're going to be at 1045 the next two Sundays again, the 30th of August and the 6th of September. And the way you can RSVP for um, one of these Zoom gatherings is to simply email our clerk of the session, Valerie Ryan, at um, clerk, C-L-E-R-K, at S-P-B-T-S dot org. That's an acronym for St. Peter's by the Sea dot org. So clerk at S-P-B-T-S dot org. Um, simply shoot Val uh, an email um, RSVPing for the Sunday that works for you. She'll send you back um, a confirmation and a Zoom link. And, and we can gather and we can um, kind of wrestle with um, our questions and um, our responses, our answers together. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the Gospels and, and the ways in which um, in the Gospels Jesus asks a question. Um, he asks us a question. He says, who do you say that I am? Um, he actually asked one of his first disciples, Simon Peter, that question. But, but he asks us, um, his later disciples, that question as well. Who do you say that I am? And I've been wondering, um, how would it um, feel? How would it have felt um, to be Simon Peter? Um, how does it feel to be one of us who, you know, Jesus kind of point blank asks, no, really, who? Who do you say that I am? Our response um, to who we say Jesus is, it shapes our lives. Um, our response to who we say Jesus is as a congregation, as a community, um, it shapes our community, our congregational life. Our collective response to who we say Jesus is might even shape um, the wider community, um, the wider community life and, 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 and um, our world's life in ways that we are not even able to um, imagine right now. Hopefully in ways that demonstrate God's deep heart and God's deep world for this love that God, for this world that God created. So, I want to um, kind of just end with um, this thought. I want to um, end with this, uh, you know, um, encouragement, this invitation, this challenge, if you will, um, if we will, to imagine, um, you know, if you were to stand with Peter and hear the question for yourself, to hear Jesus asking you, who do you say that I am? Um, how would you respond? How would you respond? Jesus saying to you, um, Paul, who do you say that I am? Whatever your name is, who do you say that I am? Jesus speaking to you personally, asking you, who do you say that I am? How would you respond? And I want you to pay attention to the words that you choose. And then I want you to ask yourself, you know, why does any of this matter? Why does any of this matter? Why um, does the question matter? Why does my answer matter? And how does any of this, how does any of the ways in which I've responded, the ways in which I've answered Jesus' Jesus's question, how does any of this show up in the way that I live my life? 
right here, right now? How does any of this show up in the ways that we live our life together? Right here, right now, even in the midst of pandemic. Author Annie Dillard, um, she writes this. She says, how we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. May our days and may our lives, individually and together, be transformed more and more to the image and the likeness of Christ. And friends, may it be so and may we be so. Amen and amen. God bless y'all and have a, a, a great, um, a wonderful, a, a meaningful, um, a purposeful day. A big old hug to y'all. God bless.